Not to be broadcast is brought to you by Vibe.ng. Cynthia Morgan has been trending on social media following an expository Instagram Live interview where she shared why she has been off the radar for nearly four years now. Apparently, she had issues with Northside music label owner Judo Koye, who signed her in 2013. According to Cynthia, Jude only shot music videos for her without promotion and took over her social media accounts and even the rights to her stage name after they fell out. What did Jude they talk? I don't get Jude. Because like even Jude, I don't go feel watching it. I don't go watch him interview. Because like Jude don't get what he want to talk. He was confused. Whatever they want, thank you. You can have the Vivo account. I don't need it. If you're when you're done making your money, you can eat it. Judokoye in an interview with Tunde Ednot said he never held on to her stage name and that Cynthia Morgan breached their contract by performing at shows without the knowledge of the record label. Many have cause to believe that Judokoye was at fault, considering that he was one of the factors that led to the split of Peace Square. While the whole Cynthia Morgan saga was going on, Peter of Peace Square chipped in saying that he offered Cynthia a contract to join his label, but she turned it down and went with Jude, who has now frustrated her career. Mr. Mehdi also cried out that he was maltreated by Jude to the point of sleeping on the floor, even when he had made hit songs for the record label. Cynthia Morgan's former manager, Joy Tongo, is of the opinion that Cynthia Morgan's attitude is what cost her her career, as they both drafted the contract that bound her to Northside Music. The contract has been published on social media and many think that the terms of the contract were fair. People have also come out to attest the fact that Joy Tongo rode very hard for Cynthia while they worked together. Donations have now been made to see to it that Cynthia Morgan gets back to her feet. David O, who Cynthia Morgan insulted in the past, has reached out to Cynthia saying he has a song for her to jump on. Trust me, I like a couple of your music, but I don't fucking like you, fam. People think David O is simply chasing clouds, but there's no doubt that a song with both of them on it will in its own way help to reinstate some part of Cynthia Morgan's glory. Cynthia Morgan maintains the fact that she'll be referred to as Madrina, although we aren't sure if she'll change her mind, seeing as Jude has publicly mentioned that he did not hold any legal rights over her name. Founder of Naira Bet and lawmaker Aki Alabi tweeted saying that it would be more profitable if Cynthia comes back as an author and takes up speaking engagements rather than coming back to the music industry with no guarantees of making it back to the top. Do you think this is sound advice for Cynthia? What if writing a book or speaking is not where her core strengths lie? Anyway, to address the issue of the contract that was published on the internet, Cynthia chose to have another interview with Sandra where she mentioned that her manager Joy Tongo did not have her best interest at heart and is irrelevant to her now. Joy, I don't really want to go into Joy's details, okay? Because like Jude is, Joy is like really irrelevant to me and Joy, uh, ain't as much as Joy. Joy is really irrelevant to me and obviously, I'm sorry Jude, right now you're like really irrelevant to me because like, I really respected Jude. People think she shouldn't have had a second interview as it now looks like all the accusations against her are true and she may now be losing the pity of her fans and well-wishers who have contributed some money to help her get back on her feet. What are your thoughts about this? What do you think of Cynthia Morgan coming back to industry, do you think she's going to come back and take her place as you know dance hall queen, or do you think she should pick up speaking engagements and authoring books just as Aki Alabi has suggested? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. For more sizzling gist and interesting trends, kindly follow us across all our social media platforms on vibe.ng.